Uh, this morning I uh, picked up William, the southern swaggy from uh, Keggy Point and uh, we're having a, did a wee bit of an upgrade today so we've taken a wee trip train through the countryside, uh, stopped off at a Weka for a cup of coffee and some chicken nibbles just to keep the keep the motor running oh. and uh, oh. then we came up to the top of Lochendorp station which we run into a little bit of trouble. Coming up that rough gravel but a uh, nice sharp stone's gone through the tyre or something like that and uh, yeah we need to do a pit stop. Now have you changed the tyre before? Once or twice. Because you do know that um, before you lift the tyre up off the ground you're supposed to undo the, undo the bolts first. It's in uh, low ratio, four wheel drive and the handbrake's on. Then we made it to the top uh, after uh, William uh, jumped in and out and opened heaps of gates on the way up. I'll just, I'll just walk up, shall I? Uh, the next, the next uh, job we had to do is we had to put up the ladder in the wind. So quite, a, quite a bit more drafting top the wind top, the hilltops here at the moment. It is an amazing view up here, but uh, the wind is so strong that uh, Norman decided to pull the pin and not to go up the ladder to install the antenna. Um, obviously, safety comes first. But uh, I'm just sort of thinking, I opened all those gates for nothing. I'm gutted. Not too bad a view from the office, is it? Could be worse, could be stuck up in a um, tower block in uh, England or uh, Auckland or somewhere and have no view whatsoever, eh? I've got to upgrade one of the antennas because we, uh, we supply the internet to the uh, South Otago, West Otago and Northern South and area and we're just increasing um, the amount of cameras I can put on the tower here. Then uh, we just a wee bit of fencing and a wee bit of general maintenance around here today. Yeah, the reason for the emergency rations is quite often in winter time I have to walk up here to refuel the generator and because it's covered in snow and that and you can't uh, can't can actually get up uh, with the vehicle so um, there's nothing better to have a nice cold beer sitting here when you get up to the top you're absolutely knackered carrying about 40 litres of fuel behind you so that's why there's always a beer on standby in all my huts and if it's missing I know where it's gone well, the alternative for most people out in the countryside at the moment is satellite, uh, which is better on dial-up internet, but it's uh, very slow and very, very expensive. And one thing we want to do is uh, give people in the countryside access to the same sort of speeds and same sort of prices as you would do in the middle of a city. And uh, basically this is what we're out to do, just to help the community and uh, give them a fair deal. The general consensus amongst my family and friends is that well, they've pretty much gone mad. I'm going slightly mad. I'm going slightly mad. But I'm beginning to think they were completely right. You see, not only am I going to be walking and exploring the deep south of New Zealand, but I'm going to be a penniless swagman at the same time. So, for the next many, many months, I'll be walking from Kaitangata to Bluff via the Catlins as a cash strapped swagman and what that means is I'm going to be bargaining with locals to do jobs in exchange for food and shelter and all of it will be captured for television but of course who I have to thank the most is the film crew because no wait wait actually um actually I am the film crew in this particular instance I'd like to invite you on my journey so please subscribe to this channel or follow me on the links below it's a hard fat life for me it's a hard fat life for me